Today, we will see some more examples related to number games. Below is the method of a game. Find out how it works. Select a digit, add it three times, multiply the result obtained with 37. Now in all the places in the result, you will have your chosen digit. Let's understand this method first. Suppose we chose the digit 5. By adding it three times, that is 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 15. We then multiply 15 and 37 to get 555, in which the chosen digit is 5 in all the places. Now let's understand how this method works. Suppose we chose a number A. To add it three times, we will write A plus A plus A, which is equal to 3A. Now we multiply this with 37. 37 into 3A or we can write 37 into 3 into A. Now we can write it as 37 into 3 into A using the associative property of multiplication. 37 into 3 is equal to 111. In this way, if we multiply A with 111, we get the number which has the same digit in all places. Next example, if P40 plus 3QQ is equal to 8PQ in which P and Q are digits and no carry-on has been taken in this addition, then find out what will be the value of Q plus P. Here, we have to first find the value of P and Q for which we are given P40 plus 3QQ is equal to 8PQ. Let's write it in this way. In the unit's place, we see that 0 plus Q is equal to Q. At this place, we do not know the value of Q. In the next column of tens, we see that 4 plus Q is equal to P. But we neither know the value of P nor Q. So, we cannot find the values of P and Q from this equation. Since no carryover is taken in this addition, we can say that P plus 3 is equal to 8 by looking at the column in the hundreds place. From this, we can get the value of P. P is equal to 8 minus 3 which is equal to 5. Now since we know the value of P, we can find the value of Q using 4 plus Q is equal to P. Putting the value of P in this equation, we get 4 plus Q is equal to 5. That is, Q is equal to 5 minus 4 which is equal to 1. Let P is equal to 5 and Q is equal to 1. See if P40 plus 3QQ is equal to 8PQ. P40 plus 3QQ is equal to 540 plus 311 which is equal to 851 and 8PQ is equal to 851. Both sides are equal, so we can say that we have obtained the correct values of P and Q. Now we will add the value of Q to the value of P. The value of Q is 1 and the value of P is 5. The sum of this gives us 6, that is, Q plus P is equal to 6. So today we saw some interesting examples related to number games.